Captain Calavera? Puerto Zapato, sailor. We're here at last. Beautiful port, isn't she? Yes, sir. Well, there's some customs officials down below, sir. They want to search the ship. Fine, fine. We've got nothing to hide, eh? No skeletons in our closet. <laughs> yes, sir. Secure the bow, boys. Like a rock this time. Manuel. Salvador. I hope this very urgent message gets to you in time. Our man in Zapato says Miss Colomar never made it to the port. It said she threw herself overboard at the Pearl. I don't know if you believe that. Whatever you do, do not land in Puerto Zapato. It's a trap. Assassins will attempt to board your ship disguised as customs agents. Beware, and viva la revolución! Open this door. Yeah, we want to check your bags. Don't worry, Captain. We're safe in here. Okay, let's just set the explosives and get the hell out of here. Do something. Okay.
there you go. I don't want to mess with my delicate creation here. Gladys, cover your ears. What was that? The dotted line, buddy. Reach. Snap out of it, sailor. Easy for you to say. You don't have lungs. Hey, you live without your heart once, so you can live without air for a little while. Just until I figure out what we're gonna do. You all right? I'm a spirit of the land, Manny. Not of the sea. Hang in there, Mano. Beware, brave captain. Here in the darkest depths of the Sea of Lament dwell the most horrible monsters of all. The fearsome, murky demons of the deep will swallow you whole the instant you leave this pool of light. Heed my warning, or take one step forward and learn for yourself! All right, all right, I believe you. Just quit it with the creepy spirit of the land voice, huh? Here comes one now! Amigo! Huh? Who? Oh, geez, another shipwreck. You see? That's why I never travel by boat. We've had a little accident. Think you could help us out? Depends on what kind of help you're looking for. Could we tag along with you? Well, it's a long walk you're talking about. We don't have any other choice. Oh, all right then. Lift those knees, stick close to my light, and try to sing in key. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Hide it under some seaweed, no. I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under some seaweed, no. I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under some seaweed, no. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Scare away sea monsters, yeah. I'm not gonna let you touch it. No, I'm gonna let it shine. I'm not gonna let you touch it. No, I'm gonna let it shine. Not gonna let you touch it. No, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine.
I thought that looked like our ship. That's just a trick the ocean plays on your mind, kid. Makes everything look the same after a while, like he was going in circles. Well, this isn't the kind of progress I was hoping for. Oh, well, the wet march of the soul ain't for everybody. Could you take us to the Pearl? Ha! You don't believe those old stories, do you? You think somewhere in this ocean there's a gigantic pearl that shines so brightly it can be seen from passing ships? And that sometimes sailors so allured by its luster actually fling themselves overboard to dive for it and are never heard from again? Yeah, and I think it's right over... Bah! I've been walking this ocean for years. I ain't never seen it. No, really. The pearl is right over there. You poor sucker, that's the moon! Tell me you didn't come all this way out here to pearl dive the moon. <laughs> what are you doing down here? Trying to get out of the land of the dead, same as everybody else. Why are you walking instead of taking a ship? Got sick of waiting around Rubicava for a boat. Figured I'd make better time this way. Why didn't I think of that? How do you know where you're going? See the moon over there? I just keep it on my right. That way I know I'm heading in a straight line. But oldest trick in the book. Is everything okay with your eyebrows? Them is barnacles, genius. I don't move fast enough to shake them, so they tend to pile up. I don't mind, though. They're the only company I got. <laughs> Ain't you, boys? How long have you been down here? Well, let me put it this way. I wasn't always this color. Shouldn't you have hit dry land by now? I'm trying to cross a big ocean here, Sonny. What do you know about it? I've already done it. In a boat. A boat? Don't talk to me about boats. What's the problem with boats? We had such a nice boat. Why is everybody always talking about boats? You got a perfectly good pair of legs. Why not use them, I say? Let me guess. You died in a boat wreck. A boat wreck would have been better than what happened to us. Led off course by bad equipment, lost for weeks, no food, no shelter from the sun. We'd started throwing the dead overboard. But then the sharks began following the boat. What happened in the end? What happened was, I learned three valuable lessons. Stay away from boats. When it comes to navigation, trust only the moon and the stars. And when there's only two of you left, Never, ever go to sleep. How have you kept that light going all these years? Well, I found this coral, this glow-in-the-dark coral. Damnedest thing. Glows like a lightning bug and never seems to wear out. I had some of that once. Made a nice grappling hook. I don't think you had what I got, because I don't think you've been to the place where I got it. Where'd you get the coral? Edge of the world, boy. That's the only place it grows. Could we borrow that light for a second? Sorry, I'm kind of attached to it. <laughs> Could you send for help? Oh, sure. I promise to call for help at the next phone booth I walk by. Well, I don't want to break your stride there. Okay, see you around. Watch out for sea monsters. Who? These guys? Oh, they don't mess with old Chipito. I'm too bright for them. <laughs> this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let... Hey, lay off! <laughs> Lego! 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 Get your own lamp, pal! Whatever happened to the code of the sea? You all right? I'm a spirit of the land, Manny, not of the sea. Hang in there, Mano.
Amigo. What? More survivors? I just passed another shipwreck not five minutes ago. Well, I don't want to break your stride there. Okay, see you around. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This line, I'm gonna let it shine. Hey, lay off! Lego! Lego! What am I supposed to do with this? Follow me. Where are you taking me? To the moon. Manny, is that... The Pearl! Whee! I knew I'd find her someday! I'm rich! 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 Shh! Something's happening. Manny, what's going on? I don't know, but I don't like the way that thing's looking at us. I'm not going down there while that monster's looking right at me. I'm not going down there while that monster's looking right at me. Glottis, go down there and talk demon talk to that octopus. Heck no! I'm scared! I'm staying up here with you. I'm not going down there while that monster's looking right at me. Those hands, clams. Hey, lay off. Lego, Lego, Lego. You can't leave me here all alone. She's coming back. Don't ask, Carnal, cause I don't know. Gladys, I'm gonna sneak inside and look for Mechi. What if that octopus comes back while you're gone? Poke him in the eye and steal his sub. Eh, <laughs> stupid octopus. empty. Meche. Manny, what are you doing here? 
I wanted to see how your trip was going, Angel. I am your travel agent, you know. By the way, thanks for that bottle of champagne you sent me. It really hit the spot. You were headed for a trap. I was trying to warn you. Domino was using me like bait. I didn't want you to end up a prisoner here like me. Prisoner? Where's your cell? Or are you just sharing a bunk with the warden? If that's what you think of me, then why did you come here? Because this is where he belongs. Here, working for me. I knew you'd come around eventually. Right or wrong, Manuel Calavera is always with the winning team, right, Manny? That's why you're here now. I'm getting off this rock, and I'm taking all of these people with me. <laughs> Manny, there's no way off this island. I'm afraid you're stuck here in my little executive training program. See, I need you to take my place here, kid. I've got to get back to the city where the action is. Sorry, Manny, but I had to come in. My skin was getting all pruney. Him, I don't need. I'm gonna grind you to powder for that, Cowdon. Maybe later. But for now, let me just show you your new office. <laughs> Careful, BB. The new boss is waking up. Hola, angelitos. I'll bite you, I swear to God! Please don't bite anyone else, Pugsy. That's why they put us in the cage in the first place. Why do you want to bite me? You're the mean new boss. Mr. Hurley said you were meaner than him. He said you had a bone saw. You bite me and I'll sue your parents. Our parents? Our parents? <laughs> hey, hey, don't cry, children. Please, stop crying. Why am I so bad at this? My name is Manny Calabella. It's you. Mr. Hurley told us about you. You're the one who tricked Meche. Poor Meche. Meche's my friend. You can ask her. She talked about you before. Every time she says your name, she looks so sad. I don't know what you did to her, but you're gonna be sorry! I didn't trick anybody. Mr. Hurley said he was supposed to take care of Meche, but you stole her case from him. Is that true? Let me see if I can explain this whole thing to you. You see, I had this job, selling travel packages to immigrant souls. If I sold enough of them, I got to leave the land of the dead. Now, I was in a slump, and I really needed a fat commission, so... You're a bad man. Go away, bad man! Yeah, go away! What are you two doing in this cage? Making light bulbs. Look, we're working as hard as we can. Why don't you leave us alone? Listen, children, I'm here to help. There's really not much more room in here. Your hands are too big to make light bulbs. I'm here to help you get out of this cage. You can't do that. We have to stay here and take care of Mitchett. She'd be so sad here all alone. Sometimes we hear her crying, you know. My hands are not too big to make light bulbs. Then why don't you help? My butt's too big to sit on one of those little perches. Um, I'm gonna tell Mecha you said that word to us. I told you he was bad. I just don't have any of those little tiny tools, that's all. Here, take my hammer. <laughs> you're two bad little children. I'm glad you're in a cage. <laughs> Very bad. <laughs> you know, I really do want to help. Then why don't you? I'm in the Maritime Union. We can't do factory work. I don't know what those words mean. It means he doesn't want to help us because he's mean. On second thought, maybe I don't. We don't want to either, but we don't have a choice. I'm the one who's gonna take Meche out of here. What? You can't do that. Who's gonna take care of us? We'll be all alone. Ah. <laughs> 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 
Let's age you up here. Mr. Hurley grew demon ravens with human heads in here. He said if we ever tried to get away, he'd send the ravens after us. And let them make nests out of our bones. I'm here to help you get out of this cage. You can't do that. We have to stay here and take care of Mitchin. She'd be so sad here all alone. Sometimes we hear her crying, you know. You children just wait here and be brave little angelitos, okay? Okay. It's my Prince Charming. Are you back here just to insult me some more, or do you just want some ice for your head? <sighs> Ow! Oh, my stockings! They're ruined! Try to have one nice thing on this cruel island. Good enough for me. What is? Oh, uh, the, um, the speed at which you're working. That's nice, Manny, but you're not my boss, so really I couldn't care less. Good. Excellent. Carry on. Come on. We're getting out of here. Trying to steal my commission from Domino again. Manny, don't you ever give up? I'm not after any commission. I just want to get us both out of here. Then why don't you just ask your boss for the day off? I can't believe you think he's my boss. He's my arch enemy. I think he's your boss. You think he's my boyfriend. We don't seem to have a good foundation of trust in our relationship, do we? I'm sorry I implied he was your boyfriend. I do trust you. Well, I'm not sure I trust you about that. But I'll tell you one thing that would convince me. Name it. Give me your gun. What? What makes you think I have a gun? You work for the most heavily armed organization in the land of the dead. Don't try to tell me they didn't issue you a gun. I don't work for the most heavily armed organization anywhere. You know, you're right. There are those rumors of that revolutionary army that's been stockpiling weapons. Actually, them, I work for. Manny, why don't you come back when you're willing to deal straight with me, okay? Hey, about that gun. Ready to hand over your heater? I would if I had one. Right. They didn't issue me a gun. What, are you on probation? I'm not buying this, Manuel. Manny, why don't you come back when you're willing to deal straight with me, okay? Hey, about that gun. Ready to hand over your heater? I would if I had one. Right. I think we need to talk. Start talking. You're the salesman. I have a lot of explaining to do. Save your breath. Domino's explained it all to me already. You have a lot of explaining to do. Oh, me? About what? Why did you take me out with that champagne bottle? I told you to stop you from falling into Domino's trap. If you had made it on that ship, then you would have ended up... Here? Yes. Why are you working for Domino? I do what he asks only to protect the children. Why are those children locked up in a cage? With the wings those angelitos have, they're the only things on this island Domino can't control. Hey, if they can fly, 
Let's set the kids free to go get help. They can't fly that far, Manny. But they can fly circles around Domino, and they can bite pretty hard. <laughs> so why did you run out of my office? I felt so embarrassed, and you looked so disappointed in me. I couldn't stand it anymore. Has Domino hurt you in any way? Not as much as I've hurt him. Boy, can that guy take a punch. Then what were you doing that whole year I was in Ubakawa? I was lost. What did you... I don't want to talk about that year, please. Okay, I'll lay off the questions. Great. Now if we could get you to just lay off the cologne. Hey, I'm a sailor now. We have to wear this stuff. Listen, Mechi. Manny, talking isn't helping right now, okay? Sir, do you have an appointment? I'm going in there to tell Domino my demands. I don't think you fully understand the chain of command around here. Pugsy and Bibi work for you. You and I work for Domino, who works for Hector Le Mans, crime boss of El Maro. Well, I think it's time for a little corporate restructuring. Domino. Domino! Taking your first coffee break already, Calavera? We got a score to settle, Issy. You know, if I ever spoke to my boss, Hector, that way... You killed my best friend. The demon? Manny, you can use a demon as a driver. Let him carry your messages, let him serve you food. But you can't ever start thinking of them as friends. It's just not natural. What are you doing out here on the edge of the world? Oh, I know. I ask myself that every day. But I'm going to train you, Manny, to take my place here running this two-bit light bulb factory. How can you keep little children in a cage? Trust me, it's easier than keeping big kids in a cage. Why don't you just sprout me like you tried to put a sapato? That wasn't me. That was Hector. He's so unimaginative, just wants to tie up the loose ends, you know? But I believe, however, that you can be rehabilitated through honest work. What makes you think I'm gonna work for you? Well, there's not much to do on this island if you don't work, take it from me. And think about it, once I'm gone, it will be just you and Meche alone on this deserted island. Don't tell me that prospect doesn't appeal to you. I don't plan to be on this island for very long. Manny, I have all the guns, I have all the transportation, and I have all the brains. What are you gonna do? You and Hector set up a secret hideout to make light bulbs? Oh no, that's just a side benefit. The real purpose is to have a place we can lock up all those old clients of mine. Can't have good people wandering loose in the land of the dead telling everybody how we stole their double-in tickets, now can we? You stole all these people's tickets? Okay, how much of this haven't you figured out, Calavera? Kapal would route all the good clients to me after he switched over their tickets to a secret holding fund. I'd cover up the paper trail, and we'd make sure that the pigeon jumped overboard at the Pearl. I knew it! You were getting all the good clients. I handled them all, except for Mercedes, who you hijacked for me in that ridiculous hot rod. Which I saw, by the way, last time I was in Rubicava. I tell you, Manny, hot rods like that just don't look safe to me. So it wasn't my fault Mecha didn't get a ticket. You stole it. Well, it's your fault she ended up in the forest, instead of coming here right away. But I fixed that. I'm taking Meche out of this dungeon. Manny, before I found her, she spent a year out there in the petrified forest alone because of you. By comparison, I'd say I'm keeping her pretty comfortable here in my, uh, dungeon. Wouldn't you say? One ticket for you, one for Hector. How many more do you need? Oh, Manny. We never touch the product ourselves. We sell a ticket to unfortunate souls, unable to lead moral lives because of the crippling amount of cash they were born into. Well, you could just take the tickets and leave today. We found a way to make the land of the dead livable. Why would we want to leave? 
Nice island you got here. Yeah, the previous owners didn't know what they had here. Let us pick it up for a song. They scooped out all the coral they could reach with their crane and then abandoned the plant. But we knew we had what it would take to go the extra distance to the big reef. Are you about to lecture me about the winning attitude again? No! Slave labor, Manny. That's the real ticket to success. Well, I gotta get back to trying to escape. <laughs> hey, you do that, kid. Knock yourself out. out of here soon. We, we are done traveling together. I work solo, my friend, and I walk alone. Nice drill. Drill? This here is a cordless high-speed reciprocating chisel. And look, it's a bust all. They usually don't give these to the new guys. How'd you get a bust all? I'm connected, plugged in, and I had some booty to trade. Trade's the name of the game out here in the Big Reef. Booty? Where'd you get booty? It's all over the ocean floor. Jewelry, precious coins, you people and your fancy boats never know about it. Cause you just never stop and look. Give me some booty and I'll buy our way out of here. I traded it all for this beauty. You traded jewelry and precious coins for a power tool? It's a bust all. I want to trade something. Well, you came to the right place, Sonny. What you be deep? A drink. Ha! We're swimming in the biggest drink there is. Drinks aren't a hot commodity down here. Sorry. A gun. Ooh, that's gonna cost some. Acrylic? No, it's all natural. Oh, too bad. Natural fibers are so uncomfortable underwater. I know, I know. When you got something worth trading, come see old Chapito. He'll do you right. Stupid, stupid chisel. Freaking, freaking. Garger. Chapito. Huh? Who? What? That tool looks a little overpowered for you. Overpowered? Nothing overpowers Chapito. If you say so. Well, I got a long day of grief wrecking ahead of me, so please bust away. Yo, Beto! Have you ever seen an authentic little chipper? A little chipper? No, I haven't. But I'd sure love to give it a test drive. Say, little chipper, you're okay. Do do. Do do. Do do. Hey, Chippy, check out the hosiery. Say. These are real silk. Where'd you find them? I've been wearing them the whole time. You too? Well then, here's your new best friend. Ah, my first Sproutella gun. Is it loaded? No. Hey, well, it's your hard to get. La dee da dee da da. Here, we'll 
good's a relationship without trust? True. A relationship without trust is about as empty as a gun without bullets. Guess you didn't realize a smart girl always keeps an extra round in her hat for mad days. Come on, let's go. Mitchie, you don't know what you... I know exactly what I'm doing. Now move! Would you just listen to my escape plan first? Trouble in paradise, kids. You're letting us go right now, or your boy Friday here gets it. Well, I hate to see you go, Manny, but uh, the lady seems to have made up her mind. I'm serious. I'll shoot him. Fine. He really doesn't work for me anyway. But I thought he... I'll shoot you then. No, you won't. You're too good, remember? I'm not. I'm not good anymore. You've taken that out of me, keeping me a prisoner here. I'm going to crack you open like a fake big boss. I'm going to... <sighs> Kid's all right. <laughs> She's a firecracker. But a night in the cooler usually dampens her fuse. Domino! Hey, sport. How's the uh, escape going? What did you do with her? I thought she needed a little, uh, time out, that's all. Well, I gotta get back to trying to escape. <laughs> hey, you do that, kid. Knock yourself out. Is there anybody out there? It's me, Mache! Must be a combination lock, but there are no numbers on it. Poor Don was never hey! good with numbers. Where are you? Is there anybody out there? Anybody? I promise I won't pull guns on any... Hugs! If I bust all the handle, then I'm never gonna get in there. Is there anybody out there? That's a little bit of overkill, considering it's not locked. Manny! I don't want to mess up the wheel. The wheel's my friend. Is there anybody out there? I think I'm running out of air! Must have hit a major circuit. Hmm. But it looks like I've exposed the guts here. Those tumblers must be made of a harder steel than the outer door. I guess I didn't enter the right combination. Those are the tumblers of the combination lock. I guess I didn't enter the right combination.
guess I didn't enter the right combination. and I had them so nicely lined up and everything. Mitchy, you can come out now. Mitchy? They're all locked up. These must be very, very sensitive coral harvest reports. Uh-oh. Oh, Raul. I am so, so sorry. Looks like I messed up these contacts when I broke through with the bus stall. Get in there with this. Hmm. Can't 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 get in there with this. 
Looks like years and years of coral harvest reports. This can't be what this secret safe is meant to hold. Manny, I knew you would... Why is that door closed? Uh, it was the only way I, uh, uh, the wind? Oh. that vent even if I stood on Mitch's shoulders wouldn't it make more sense for me to stand on your shoulders anyway are you kidding look at your heels thanks for not shooting me look I'm sorry I should have trusted you it's just that the past two years have been pretty tough you know is heavy. For you. What about the suitcases? What's in these cases? Take a look. It's all the double-end tickets Hector and Dom have stolen over the years. Each one stolen from a good soul, and now they just sit there. That's it. What? They just sit there. That's what's been bothering me. In the days when I was a hot salesman, I used to see double-end tickets all the time, and they move. What do you mean, they move? They become agitated around human souls. And the ticket that belongs to you will actually fly into your hand. But these tickets, and the tickets in that suitcase of Charlie's, it's like they're dead. Why would Hector and Domino be hoarding cases of counterfeit double-end tickets? Ah, doesn't matter. They wouldn't fit through this hole anyway. Let's go! Okay, you get the kids, and I'll meet you back here with the boat. What boat? Well, I'm working on that. Okay, Manny. Where am I going to get a boat? <sighs> I bet Gladys would know. They must bring the poor over here to be crushed. Either that or these are the biggest, meanest looking hair colors I've ever seen.
see why they don't give these chisels to the new guys. I'm so glad to see you. Aww. Is the boat already? Yeah, come on. Let's go eat some reef. Works like crazy. Full speed ahead. What? me back and try to get your old job again there's no job for me now except to bring you and everyone else here to the end of the road but if you aren't going to use me to get your job back why did you spend all this time trying to find me Meche I I needed to find you Give you one job, Manny, and look at you already screwing it up. <clears throat> I suppose you realize that this is going to go down. I don't think my bare hands would be a match with that sight of his. This doesn't look good for the kid. Look, Dom, I'm not gonna work for you. Oh, don't worry about that. You're fired. Just consider this your severance. I don't believe you, Calavera. 
You're losing a fight, so you pick on one of my pets? Why aren't you more like me, Manny? I've been trying to show you how, but you don't listen. If you just adopt the proper attitude, just look what could happen to you.